I was asked by one of my subscribers um, who comes up with really good ideas would I do um, an Effie from Skins look and I looked on the internet couldn't really find any pictures of her and then I was watching one of the episodes and I found um, where she has her eyes closed and when she opens them they're really cool um, I'll put a link up probably to the episode that I was watching so you guys can take a look and probably hopefully find a picture of it to put up as well so I really hope you enjoy it's kind of a really dramatic eye um, very pale normal skin and a little bit of lip gloss and carry on watching okay, so we're actually going to start off with doing the eyebrows and the eyes and I will tell you why at the end is my eyebrow palette which is those three colours before you can tell if you can use it on your eyebrows if um, it's dull and kind of boring color and if it doesn't have a shimmer to it. So I'm just gonna, using a brush, just gonna start filling in the eyebrows. You're going in the direction of the hair. And usually I brush upwards and then onto the eyes and I've just applied a little bit of Vaseline so you could apply an eye primer if you want and this is the palette that we're going to be using so um, white, grey and this kind of um, browny black colour and they actually have a shimmer to them so first of all I'm just going to apply that white and we're going to apply it all over the eye you don't have to be too neat, just put it all over the eye and you don't want too much so then I'm just going to blend it in and next you're going to take we're not going to be coming in here, we're going to be staying right up here, so when you do your blending, as I want to show you in a second, you're going to stick to just about two thirds in a little bit above your crease as well. And next you're going to take that um, metallic grey brown kind of colour, and you're just going to take it on the very edge of your brush, and you're going to start on the outer corner it on. Just kind of going in this kind of motion. So it's actually not a straight line, it's kind of going at an angle. And then you're going to blend it right into your stock. This is if you're creating a crease so that you can see it when you close your eyes more than when you actually open it. The um, thing about the makeup that's done on skins is the fact that all the girls look like They've done their own makeup, but um, it's also really cool techniques that they use, but it's so subtly done. Take a nice little brush, this is the size of brush I'm going to be using, I can use something slightly bigger if you want. You're going to really create that line. So use your actual eye socket as your guide and just follow it. Far over, so you're just sticking over here, and just as you get closer in here, you're just gonna go very gently. It's all about blending. You're just gonna stick to right here. It's almost like a triangle shape that you're gonna create. But if you are doing anything where you've pulled your skin back, you're going to want to let it go just to keep an eye on the shape that you're creating. Brushing brushes now, just to add a little bit more depth to that colour, but still using that same brownie slate grey colour. Take it from underneath the eye like so and blend it up and down. Just gonna create those corners of that triangle. So I'm just gonna take that applicator now and just start blending in very gently. So we're gonna be moving on to the liners, and I'm gonna be using a black liner, and I'm also gonna be using this kind of um, turquoise kind of color, almost like a green. So you're gonna be doing that underneath the eye. So you don't want too much on the brush, so I always tend to just brush off a little bit just to get that point back on it. If we're using this kind of shape, start in the inner corner, right in there. Now, if you have smaller eyes, you might not want to go right into the corner because doing a whole um, line all the way around the eye 
just gonna make it look actually smaller. So if you had smaller eyes, I tend to start right here and over and across. Follow that line right the way across. Not have to be too exact because her makeup isn't, it's um, kind of professionally flawed, if you know what I mean. A little bit in the inner corner like so. So I'm just gonna blend it a little bit up into that triangle using a black eyeliner on the top. If you are going to be using a liner like this, you should always keep some um, wipes handy just in case you do make a mistake. Now I'm not very good at this myself so because I never usually use it on my everyday makeup but um, another trick is just to push down your lashes especially if they tend to curl because you're going to hit them and then you might mess up. So you're going to start in the middle work out just for now stick to the lash line and you're going to slowly allow it to get a little bit thicker but first of all I'm just going to do the very inner corner brush or something that um, tends to go to a point, very thin brush, and going onto that line, you're just going to slightly blur it, almost like you're blending it, but you're not going to be blending it, you're just going to be slightly blurring it out, really going to blend right up into that. to last because it is quite um, a messy look and that's the reason why I did it and just to be sure that um, your makeup is completely clean you just want to brush underneath the eyes with um, either a wet wipe or a makeup remover just right underneath the eyes keep it really clean because the thing is um, she doesn't actually use that much makeup and she tends to use just um, a very small amount if she actually has any on at all I'm not sure but um, probably does for the actual cameras but the trick is that I'm going to do is you're just going to take um, a stick concealer one that matches your skin tone a damp sponge and you're just going to use that to apply a very small amount of makeup and this is for people who have um, freckles like she does, you know, she wants to show them through um, and this is what she does just to apply a very small amount of makeup. Now you're going to take a tiny, very tiny amount of this nice shimmery um, rosy colour on the cheeks. So I'm just going to apply this very lightly to the cheeks. Now for the lips, I'm just going to use a little bit of um, a lip balm. There you have the Effie from Skins inspired look and I hope you enjoyed. I'm Shanae Katie. Thanks for watching.